350 hours of work. Research until your eyes hurt. Write until your fingers are numb. Spell check for hours and hours. Add some creativity and a whole bunch of tech savvy, and there you have it, a ThinkQuest project. Hi everyone, I'm Annika taking you for a journey of one of Lincoln's traditions, ThinkQuest Web Design Competition. Today we will join a group of students in their quest to complete this research, writing, reading, and a whole lot of stress and panicking nine month project and be called one of the best in the world. Welcome to the Lincoln's version of ThinkQuest. Year, a group of Lincoln students won second place in the world with their site named Chicken Dumplings for Your Mind. We will visit some of the new team members as they take us to, from the ThinkQuest project from the very beginning all the way to San Francisco where they received their award. Sponsored by the Oracle Education Foundation, ThinkQuest competition offers a project-based learning experience to students and teachers across the globe. Everybody wins by having their completed websites published in the ThinkQuest Library, a rich online resource visited by millions monthly. ThinkQuest inspires students to think, connect, create, and share. Students work in teams to build innovative and educational websites to share with the world. ThinkQuest process begins with a selection of a topic. Each year, Oracle presents students with 12 categories ranging from arts to science and technology. But not every topic is created the same. In school, teachers usually tell you what to do, when to do it, and when to turn it in. ThinkQuest is different. You work on your own pace, and you get to choose your own topic. Usually, people choose topics that everybody's chosen before, but that's not good for ThinkQuest because it, you're not going to win if you don't choose an original topic. Our topic, chicken, was selected after we heard about the avian flu in the news. We thought, the topic is important worldwide and is something the kids our age should enjoy learning about. ThinkQuest is a group effort. The team consists of six students and two adult coaches. Often team members are from different schools or even countries. The Chicken Dumplings team matched three Ligon students with two students from the Lawton Childs Middle Academy and a student from Croatia in Europe. Usually you want to pick a topic with your friends, but that's not what you want to do because it's going to be nine months of you doing boring stuff, and so you want to pick a topic that you're interested in, not what your friends want to do. Teamwork is crucial to the success of the ThinkQuest teams. Uh, students really need to work together and um, set aside their personal differences for the um, betterment of the team. It's really important to have students with different strengths on the team um, because they can add uh, different viewpoints, different perspectives uh, from each other. And um, as the old adage says, two heads are better than one. This is so, so important with ThinkQuest. I was invited to the team because they needed an artist. They already had writers, researchers, and designers. So I feel that my strength was important for our team's success. After the topic is chosen, and the teams are in place. A long, long research process begins. Since students and coaches are often faced with topics they have no expertise in, uncovering good research takes time and dedication. How do you do research? Well, ThinkQuest students have to first sit down and learn the process of research, rules of copyright and plagiarism, how to construct credits, and how to sort through research to receive important data. When I first joined ThinkQuest, I thought, cool, we would make a website. Oh no. For six weeks, ThinkQuest has been nothing but research and writing. The only reason you touched a computer was for information and typing context. Most of the research on our topic was not written for kids. It was very hard to understand it. It took hours of reading, looking up words you don't know, and start sorting through hundreds of pages. Sometimes you would find one, fact, one important fact out of ten pages. After six months of research, the team is ready to put their findings on the web form. Just when you thought the research is over, think again. Any information missing must be retrieved and sorted before the design process begins. First step is to develop a thorough site map, mapping every single page of the site. Design of the site takes some serious web design skills. First, the basic template is created. 
Then, the structure of the site is divided into main and subordinate pages. Next, students match their research to the pages they charted. Finally, the navigation or the site is created. This is possibly the most important feature of the site since it allows vis visitors to move around effectively. The colors and theme have to carry the same message and voice as your text. Once the template is built, the team has to come up with interactive features making their site exciting and educational. Design is incredibly important. Your site must be original and make sense for the topic. Navigation has to be perfect. One thing that students need to understand is that the website is not a book. You don't just turn the pages. The website branches in so many different directions and it's very interactive so that the actual audience is participating in the website. Robert came up with a design in the yellow and white like an egg. We did not want to take ourselves too seriously. We felt that some kids are more likely to visit our site about chicken if it is fun and kid friendly. One of the important things in ThinkQuest is the games and the graphics to teach about your subject. So that you can't just put an arcade game because it won't teach kids anything. We put in quizzes, matching games, word searches, and other interactive games. We have created all the questions and answers so you have to know the subject really well. Robert put in flash slideshows and introduction, which help show the information in a fun way. The last steps of the ThinkQuest site development are probably not every child's dream. Remember, no spelling or grammar errors. Broken links are not allowed. The site has to be perfect. Hours and hours of spell checking, grammar correction, editing, rewriting, and of course, credits. Finally, after nine months and over 400 hours of work, the site was finished and submitted for the competition. It took about two months for judging. We were all hoping for good news. We put so much work into it. It was about 10.30 at night when we found out that we were in second place in the world. What's the prize for winning ThinkQuest? First of all, entries are screened for technical quality and copyright compliance. All entries that are complete and pass the inspection are published as part of the ThinkQuest library. And for those amazing top three in the world, a special prize, week-long trip to San Francisco to Oracle Live Conference and a brand new laptop. As the plane touched the tarmac of the San Francisco airport, the week of the amazing experience began. The San Francisco trip was an opportunity to learn and socialize. With cultural trips, workshops, and presentations, students learned about the world of tech business. The trip to San Francisco was amazing. These children, fourth, fifth graders, were treated like adults. I mean, a professional conference couldn't have been better. It's amazing to me that these children were able to experience that. They went to workshops. They got to interact and get to know children from all over the world. And I know some of them are still emailing each other and keeping in contact, um, kind of um, giving each other ideas for their teams and, and for what they're studying this year. It, it was an unbelievable experience. The incredible thing about San Francisco was we met one of our team members who we never knew or met. His name was Borna from Croatia, our sixth member. It was so cool to meet someone who we've worked with for nine months but never met. One thing that was amazing was a young professional lunch. We had lunch with the professionals from Yahoo, Google, Oracle, and Dell. The conference ended with an amazing award ceremony hosted by the San Francisco Design Center and attended by the CEO and CFO of Oracle and many other tech business leaders. At the award ceremony, Safra Katz, the CFO for Oracle, got up and she started speaking and congratulating the students. And then all of a sudden, she just told the students that when they are ready for a job, when they graduate from school, that they just fill out an application and they mention that they are ThinkQuest winners. No questions asked, you've got a job. And I think that just blew everybody away. After seven days of education and fun, the winning team returned to the usual business, including the ThinkQuest 2007. Sounds great, but should you join ThinkQuest? ThinkQuest is definitely not for everyone. Students really need to be self-motivated and driven. Um, they cannot depend on parents to you know, hover and stand over the backs telling them what to do, or teachers. They need to come to um, 
the, the coaches and ask for um, what else can I do. They need to be able to um, really get along with other students, set aside their personal differences. You may not be somebody's best friends, but for the good of the team, you need to get over that and um, you might have to take on somebody else's responsibility and without complaining. You have to be able to work with a group. Sometimes your opinion will be shut down. If you can't stand this, ThinkQuest is not for you. We lived ThinkQuest. My daughter Jacqueline talked about it at breakfast, lunch, and dinner. It really consumed our lives for a long time, especially with the other obligations that she had academically. She also, as they got closer to finalizing their website, it even consumed our time even more. It consumed it every day, every minute, to check and think all of those little links that they had to do. It was a wonderful opportunity, but it does take a lot of time. ThinkQuest is a lot of work, but you, when you put a lot of work into it, the results turn out great. Um, as a teacher, I cannot assign a homework with that amount of work. So students will have to be self-motivated. They will have to be determined to carry this process to the end. And this takes incredible amount of dedication and work. Hard work does pay off. This year, Lincoln will be represented by 12 teams joined by students from eight different countries and several schools. The work is hectic and stressful. Will we see another winner? Absolutely. In our eyes, everyone who completes this journey is already a winner. And for those brave enough to put in three to four hundred hours to complete their sites, we hope to see you in San Francisco. Thank you.